Hey guys, before we get started, I'm really stumped right now. It's a mass singer. So, I've gotten so far, it's only been two episodes. I've gotten three out of three characters right. Um, last season, I got them all right. And season before last, I got everybody right, but I got everyone right, except for Mr. TV. Damn, Wayne! I said it was Jaheed. Damn, Wayne Brady. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I'll probably, I have the rest of them I know. For science. Wait. The only one that's giving me the most trouble is um, Skunk. Skunk is very tricky because I feel deep down I should know this voice. Like this voice, like has a New Jersey sound to it. I don't know. She sounds like she's like the skunk. Skunk is out of Newark or something. I don't know. And um, I I really don't know. I'm starting to think. Well, my first guess was well. You you saw what I said. I, you know, I was being a little bit dumb. You know, I said. Caroline Ray at first. I said Caroline Ray. But, um, I'm really starting to think it's Faith Evans. Now, you know, and Caroline is, is not from New Jersey, but she made New York her home, though. But still, it, it's not New York. I'm starting to think um, it's one of these three. Faith Evans, Queen Latifah, or Tisha Campbell. Help me out. I, I, I really don't know. I really don't know if I'm right on this one. I'm stuck, and this, I know everyone else, this is probably the only one I'm going to get wrong, like season four, only one I got wrong was Mr. TV, I said Jaheem, and it was Wayne Brady, I don't know how I missed that, well, I, I first thought the Fox was Jaheem, but then I ended up saying Wayne Brady. And I got the box right. I got a lot wrong season two. Damn, Lando fly. Damn, skunk. All I know is that I want the skunk to be Faith Evans. I've always wanted Faith to do the mass Singer, but I don't think she's gonna do it. Now, since, you know, Queen Latifah, you know, she had her sitcom on Fox. She had her talk show on Fox 5. I really think the mad singer, Fox, would welcome her in open arms. So, and also, Martin was on Fox, so, um, yeah. So that's why I put Tisha Campbell as a candidate. Okay. So that's two candidates for the skunk. Uh, and three 
Newark, New Jersey zone. Miss Faith Evans. The clues really match. And I've seen her wearing that same silver wig before. That white hair wig that you, we saw in the skunk. I swear I've seen Faith. It's not Mary J. Blige. This says everything to do with New Jersey. That voice, I've, I've heard it. New Jersey, I've... It's not Mary J. And Rency, it's not Caroline Ray. So stop saying Caroline Ray, Clarence. <laughs> now, what if after all of that, it ends up being none of those three candidates and I was right the first time and I should not have changed it. For all we know, Caroline, you know, She's probably tricking us with her voice. Probably she's doing the same technique that we saw Miss Tony do. Mm. You think that's what, you think Caroline's doing that? I don't know, I don't know where Caroline Ray just came from, but the first like couple, 15 seconds, I first thought, Oh, uh, skunks Caroline Ray. <laughs> and then I embarrassed myself again and said, Caroline Ray. Okay, on to the next part. All right. Somebody needs to hear this. Let's sober down a little. You, you wonder why nobody likes you? You keep not stopping when someone tells you to stop. You're doing things that you know is not approved. You're just very disrespectful. And that's the problem. That's why you can't find a friend. You don't do ever what your mama or your daddy tell you to do. You talk back. But you need to grow up and start listening. Once you do that, then you'll find what you're looking for. You just have to be humble. <laughs> if you practice discipline and self-control, everything's gonna go well for you. Do what your mama and your daddy tell you to do and don't talk back. And when you have friends, you do not wanna bore them with your shenanigans. You do not want to bore them with, you know, your selfishness. You don't want to bore them. And you don't want to tell them what to do either. You don't want to... You don't want to do what they tell you not to do. If, you know, you gotta respect someone's feelings. You gotta learn at home. Oh, Carl Millen. That's what Aunt Mommy used to be. Let's change the name. That's a nice ring to it, Carl Millen. But I had to learn the hard way to honor my mama and my daddy. After everything I lost, I lost all my friends. I lost I don't know, lots and lots of opportunities. I've hit so many walls. Yeah, I know some of y'all are thinking, there's no way that you should be that disrespectful. And there's no way you should have had to go through that just for you to learn how to respect your parents. You should honor and respect them because you love them. But maybe I hit all that just to realize how much deep inside I deeply love them and that I was pushing all those feelings aside because I was angry and selfish. Everyone's saying, listen to your mom. You're letting so much good stuff go past you by not listening. I was a boy at the time. I was a kid. And I lost a lot, you know. 
I was 21, acting like a complete four-year-old moron when the cleaning lady came. And yes, I did get hit. And I realized everything I was doing from 16 to 23 is why people don't give second chances. You show your ass one time, you're done. Hard head makes for a soft ass. Anyway, it's almost one o'clock. I should get what what I want for lunch and go. All right, it's almost one, so I need to come eat, go home and eat. Oh, um, I'm starting to think. I really forget New Jersey. It could be Caroline Ray, could be Melissa Peterman. Your game show ain't a hit unless you got one of them on your team on your game, killing it, okay?